I bring good news to those of my fans who would want to travel. For a very long time now, many of my subscribers and fans from my various social media platforms, they've been reaching out to me, telling me, Nosa, Nosa Comedy, give us other countries that will be easy for us to go look for jobs. You know, everybody cannot go to Canada. So I agreed. Um, for some time now, I've been working and researching on some information that I got from some travelers who are already in some countries. So I have been taking my time to really know how things are done, the kind of visa they are, they are there with, and how difficult or hard it was for them to find a job. So today, I am here to bring to you five countries you can go to with a visa to look for work. Five countries with job seeker visas. You understand? These job seeker visas are visas that allow you to go to a country without having a job offer to look for a job. So that is what I will be bringing to you in this video. And if it's something you are interested in, get ready to ride with me. Um, as you know, my name is Nosa Comedy, the man with the remedy. My fans from all over the world come in Nosa from the source because I have been bringing out all the information the way they hurt, you understand. So I'm the king of informative comedy right here in the United States of America. So if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, do well to subscribe. If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Welcome to the Nosa Comedy family. And for my existing and returning subscribers, respect and greetings to every one of you. Um, let's start by really knowing what is a job seeker visa. A job seeker visa is a temporary visa that allows individuals to visit a foreign country for the purpose of searching for employment opportunities. That is to say, with a job seeker visa, you can go to that country without having to first land a job. And when you get to that country, you can stay for a specific time to job hunt, to look for a job. And if you are getting a job, you will be employed and you will be given a work permit. So it's not as difficult as people are thinking. Actually, it is easy. You understand? So, a job seeker visa, it allows foreigners to come into a particular country to look for employment opportunities. So, that is what a job seeker visa is for. And there are some countries that have it. So, I am bringing these countries to you and I will tell you all you need to do to secure these job seeker visas. You understand? So... Let's go into this video uh, proper. The first on my list will be Portugal Job Seeker Visa. Yes, you heard me right. Portugal Job Seeker Visa. With the Portugal Job Seeker Visa, you don't need to get a job in Portugal. You don't need to get a job offer in Portugal to get this visa. And with this visa, you can stay up to six months in Portugal. That is the time you will stay in Portugal to look for a job. So you have six months to stay in Portugal to look for work. So like I said, there is no job required before you get this visa. And the visa cost is 75 euros. Yes, the Portugal job seeker visa cost is 75 euros. Like we all know, Portugal is a very nice country. Um, they speak Portuguese. But there are few people there that speaks English. So Portugal is a very homely country. It's a country to so many colors and races of people. So when you go to when you go to Portugal, you will love it. And the cost of living in Portugal is very, very cheap. And the Portugal and the Portugal capital is Lisbon. You understand? So that is where Cristiano Ronaldo is from. So number two 
On my list is the Germany Job Seeker Visa. Yes, the Germany Job Seeker Visa has been existing for a while now. And also, you don't need a job offer from your country. You don't need a job offer from Germany to get a Job Seeker Visa. So you can be in your country and apply for this visa without first having a job in Germany. So, and the cost of this visa is 75 euros as well. And duration of stay before getting a job is six months. That is, with this Germany Job Seeker visa, you can stay in Germany for six months to look for job. So, and we also know that um, some time ago, the German parliament launched what they call the opportunity card. You understand? So that opportunity card has its own rules and need um, people to fulfill theory of four requirements. I think some of the requirements are German language, um, age limits, and a degree. But for the German job seeker visa, German language is not necessary. So that is two. So the third one on my list is the Sweden job seeker visa. Yes, Sweden job seeker visa. Um, actually, there are people who have gotten these visas and they are currently in Sweden working. So, and like I said earlier, you don't need a job offer in Sweden to get this visa from your countries. And you can stay up to nine months in Sweden with this visa looking for job opportunities. And the visa fee for this Sweden job seeker visa is 190 euros. Yes, 190 euros. And you must have advanced degree like master's degree, PhD, professional degree or vocational degree. This is just limited to the Sweden Job Seeker Visa. I repeat, you must have advanced degree like a master's degree, a PhD, professional degree or vocational degree. So that is for Sweden. And the fourth on my list is Austria Job Seeker Visa. The Austria Job Seeker Visa has been launched and it has been existing for, for some time now. And this Austria Job Seeker Visa doesn't require you to have a job in Austria before you get this visa. You can get this visa in your, from your country without a job offer in Austria. And the cost of this visa is 150 euros. And the duration of stay is six months. That is to say, you, you have six months to be in Austria to look for a job once you land this visa. And usually it is selection based on points. You understand? So you can do your research on this so, so as to get uh, more information. So the fifth one is the Australia 476 subclass visa. You know, in Australia, they have a lot of visas. They have a lot. But this particular visa I'm talking about in this video is the Australia 476 subclass visa. So, the, so that's a visa type. And this visa, to get this visa from your countries, work experience is not a must. So, work job experience is not a must to get this visa. And to apply for this visa, you will need engineering qualifications. Maybe you have degrees in engineering, you know. So, this is for those people. And also, you don't need a job offer in Australia to get this visa. No. So, and then, um, this very visa doesn't require you to have huge proof of funds. It doesn't require that. They just want to make sure that you can take care of yourself for the time being in Australia while you are there. And the visa cost of this very Australia 476 subclass visa 
the cost is 425 Australian dollars. Yes. So this is what I have for you today. So do your research on this. But this information I've given you today is legit. You understand? So please um, let me know how you feel about this video or let me know what you feel about this video in the comment section. And let me know what you would want me to do a video on. You understand? So I will try as much as possible to do videos on what you guys are requesting from me. So please give this video a fat thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people as well. Please don't forget to subscribe. Till I see you in my next video. Respect.